The title of Bitcoin's white paper, Peer-to-Peer -peer Electronic Cash System, clearly expresses what Bitcoin was designed to be, a true electronic cash system for everyday use. Cash by its nature must be able to handle a high volume of transactions, quickly, frequently, and with low fees. For Bitcoin to achieve this goal, it must scale to accommodate growing demand. This requirement for scalability aligns perfectly with the vision outlined in the white paper. However, the BTC network has chosen to fix its block size at just one megabyte, a decision that was initially made as a temporary measure when Bitcoin's usage was still in its early stages. Back then, this limit served to prevent spam transactions and keep the network secure. But as Bitcoin's popularity grew, the decision to keep the one megabyte limit became increasingly problematic. With limited block space, Bitcoin faces slow transaction times and rising fees, making it harder to fulfill its role as a true peer-to-peer -peer cash system. To address these limitations, the BTC community has turned to off-chain solutions like the Lightning Network. The Lightning Network allows for transactions to be conducted off the main blockchain through payment channels, which helps alleviate congestion on the network. While it may offer some short-term relief, this approach introduces significant risks. Lightning transactions are not recorded on the blockchain itself, reducing transparency and security. Additionally, the network relies on intermediaries to maintain payment channels, which increases centralization, directly conflicting with the decentralized principles of Bitcoin. By relying on off-chain solutions like the Lightning Network, the BTC Network undermines one of Bitcoin's core principles, decentralization. The Lightning Network requires trust in intermediaries to manage channels and liquidity, which introduces counterparty risk and reduces the security that comes with the transparency of the public ledger. If Bitcoin is to remain true to its original purpose as peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash, it must scale on-chain. Increasing the block size beyond one megabyte would allow Bitcoin to handle a greater transaction volume directly on the blockchain, maintaining its decentralized, transparent and secure nature. This would ensure that all transactions are permanently recorded on the public ledger, preserving the qualities that made Bitcoin revolutionary in the first place. In conclusion, the one megabyte block size limit on the BTC network should not be seen as a permanent solution if Bitcoin is to function as true cash. On-chain scaling is in alignment with the white paper's vision and preserves the decentralization that Bitcoin was built upon, while off-chain solutions like the Lightning Network compromise these key features. For Bitcoin to achieve its full potential as the world's first truly decentralized electronic cash system, it must scale on-chain, staying true to the principles that differentiate it from other systems.